Juan. So the neighbors have seven children and they come over to see me a lot. They bring us uh, cookies, flowers, cards. When uh, Abby passed away, they gave me a little puppy so that I could uh, remember Abby. So it's Christmas and uh, I've got a few days left so I'm gonna try to get these done. Uh, have about uh, three days to get these done so I'm gonna uh, push right through and see if I can get them. Hopefully uh, I get them all done, the paint gets dried and uh, they get them uh, with their uh, Santa gifts. I think, uh, I think they deserve it. They've been good kids this year. They're definitely on Santa's nice list. I cut those uh, trucks out of a uh, two by six made from cedar. And uh, Here's, you can see what the pattern was. You've all seen band sawing before, but uh, at any rate, uh, I got both trucks out of a single chunk of uh, cedar. I'm uh, ready now to uh, drill the holes for the wheels and uh, uh, get the paint on them. I'll check back with you when I go to the next stage on these pickups. All right, so that'll do this part. Now I need to cut the stem caps. So, I'll go get that wood. Might as well do walnut, just because we can. One.
temperature last night got down just to freezing, but when I came in the shop this morning, it was 49 degrees. So it's come up 9 degrees in 30 minutes. What I'm working on is turning these tops. Okay? <clears throat> the setup I'm going to use is the shopsmith is set up with the lathe duplicator table and cutter in place. I have the part chucked as short as I want to chuck it uh, and I'm going to use it to shape it. I decided to use this because I find that that having this uh, duplicator solid on this table is much more stable and can make finer cuts than whenever I'm using a uh, handheld tool. The other thing is that, that you have to be very, very careful when you're cutting it. You can't chuck it too tight and you can't bind it or you will shatter the shaft when you start to turn it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this second one and uh, I'll put you on time lapse and you can watch and uh, see whether or not I make it through this one without uh, breaking it. for rough turning it. The uh, cutter that I'm using on here is a round cutter. It uh, makes it so that you can uh, uh, get it fairly smooth to start with, but it doesn't allow any details. So I'll go ahead and finish this up with a detail cutter. My main reason for uh, wanting to get this one done was because I, as I showed you, I broke the last one and I wanted to know whether or not this setup was going to gonna be solid enough so I'll pull this out and I'll get the other ones turned uh, to a rough shape uh, they won't all be alike but they'll be similar uh, and then uh, I'll go back uh, put the detail cutter in go back through all of them do the finishing cut uh, and then the uh, third pass through will be uh, sanding of course but I wanted you to know that I've tried making these tops before by just turning down a piece of wood, drilling a hole through it, putting a stem in it. And I never ever can get that done accurately enough that the top spins true. So what I found is put the stem in it and turn them. This is the first time I've ever tried turning it with a... Uh, uh, stem that's just a dowel rod. Always before I used a hard maple stem. So a uh, little learning curve here, but I'll get back to you uh, whenever I get ready to start doing some detail sanding. I've got uh, four more of these that I need to get turned. Well, I guess I'm ready for the uh, final pass.
see, uh, let me do a little, little trimming on this. Everyone's going to have a different color. Uh, let's start with a, um, I don't know, let's see what we got here. So, might as well get the easy girl curl colors out of the way. First, we'll go with Petal Pink. There we go. Now let's run sandpaper around there and see if we can clean that up a little bit. and a BB. Okay. And press it down in there. Like that.
had some squeaks, so I need to go ahead and put some uh, beeswax in here. Oh, that may not work. May have to use. Toothpick. Yeah, that'll work. Too much because it get kind of messy. There we go. Nice little coating. All right, Brady, let's test these out, see if they're going to work. Okay. Did that one... All right. What do you think? Mm, it worked pretty good. Let's see, pick it up. Just reach down there and pick it up. All right, you're pretty quick. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna work? Yep. All right. All right, buddy. Let's wrap those up.
in a box. Thanks to the help from Jackson and Brady, got these toys finished, got them wrapped up, got them taken over to the kids. Seeing their faces light up as they opened them was one of the greatest blessings of this Christmas. I hope you too had a wonderful Christmas.